So today is still January 24th, and I did want to cover a few things in the news. You know, I, I can't cover it all, obviously. And there's so many other people out there who do such an excellent job from from InfoWars to, you know, the, the undercover uh, explanations and, and uh, investigations by Project Veritas, uh, Drudge Report, and, and we could go on and on. There are just so many good ones. Um, but uh, I do like to, to mention a few things because it kind of follows a pattern, the things that I, I like to cover. And, you know, what came out today I thought was, and, and it's been covered already, but I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that's this whole thing about China saying that it is ready to assume the global leadership role. That's been the plan all along by the New World Order, by the elites, by the, by the power elites in our country who have actually sold us out to the Chinese with that intention in the first place because they can get away with slave labor there. Here we have the, well, they tried to destroy the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, but at any rate, the, the whole idea was to take down America, and I think, I think you know, that's really obvious now. Uh, I think possibly this thing with China assuming this role, declaring it, is a little ahead, uh, well, it's actually behind schedule, but considering what's going on, they had to accelerate uh, that at this point because mankind is awakening. So anyway, I wanted to bring that up and say this isn't anything new. This is the plan all along, and I think most of us know that. It's We've been sold out completely. Our, our land, uh, the whole thing with Agenda 21, all of our manufacturing, everything, and that's why what President Trump is doing is so extremely important. I don't know if it'll succeed. Uh, you know, there are those who talk about the Koresh prophecy and, and those things that say that, you know, it, it will. And it very well is likely that it will occur as long as the people continue to repent as Nineveh did. And that this evil that's amongst us, and it, I mean, it's just amazing. And I'm not going to point fingers at anybody, but there's a lot of it right now. And that's a problem because you have that kind of evil amongst you and the Spirit of God isn't going to be real strong. you got to put it away. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, let's see how Trump goes along with this and uh, you know, how the Spirit works and how spiritual leaders approach it as well. It's going to be a problem. This isn't going to be an overnight uh, situation and, and I'm not sure that the country is even worthy of it, but enough of us uh, have, have begged God to have pleaded with him to inter intervene into this situation and, and try to help us fix it for our children's sake and, and onward. And there, there's plenty of reasons for that in the scriptures. Abraham, you know, doing his negotiation with God about Sodom and Gomorrah, which I've talked about before. Okay, uh, so you know that the elites have sold off all their holdings, basically the United States, and and have have put their their uh, investments and all that in China. That's that's the reason why this thing is being pushed so hard because now we're trying to pull away from the possibility of that actually finishing us off at this point. And then I got a chuckle because you know we've heard about Texas wanting to secede and some other states because of the things that Obama was doing and how bad that was and oh you know that's the, the Civil War settled, settled that problem a long time ago etc 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 how terrible that is <laughs> and now as you all probably know the Cal exit. California wants to secede from the Union. I think the, the, what I read was that uh, one in three Californians are ready to do that. Well, I don't know that that would ever succeed, okay? We'll see. But you know what I say? Let them have it. Good riddance. You know, they wouldn't last very long at all. Not with the, not with, <laughs> not with the current administration they have and not with the current regulations and government that they're that they're using right now. California takes so much of the federal money, it's not even funny. Uh, so, th this, so this is a joke. Now, you know, I I'd almost rather see them go. And I have a lot of friends in California, you know, and I, I, I would feel, you know, kind of bad that I'd need a passport <laughs> to go over the border. You know, and there are a lot of other things about California that are great. But uh, it's turned into a cesspool, a real cesspool now. I don't even go there if I can avoid it. Uh, and... Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. That's the way I view it. Uh, they're going to have a rough time if they actually pull us off. And I really do hope they do. Is it that it's almost, uh, it's almost kind of, you know, evil to, to wish that they do it. I, I just say, I dare you, do it, do it, do it. We're not even going to stop you. Go, go. <laughs> 
And then, of course, we had a, a statement by, and I, I, I'm sorry, I've forgotten his name, but a lot of you have probably heard this. He says, immigration is a pun." He said this to Tucker Carlson, by the way. Im immigration is a punishment for all the bad the U.S. has done. You know, and, and a lot of people like me have said, you know, the, the United States has done a lot of bad things. The people that run the country have done a lot of bad things around the world. And, and, and it has been horrible. What we've done in Central America, Guatemala and the, and the, uh, uh, the, the fruit company, United Fruit Company, that whole situation. What we've done in Iraq, what, what we did in Iran by overthrowing Mossadegh in, in 1953 or 4, whichever it was. The CIA doing that. There's all this nation building and 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 tearing and influencing foreign governments and destroying them and all that. We have done a lot of things, but you've got to understand that this was the New World Order that took over our country. We did some bad stuff to the Indians before the New World Order came along, before it was well known. You know, the Native Americans uh, and the blacks, of course. A lot of things have happened, but uh, the fact of the matter is, is that we've been reforming ourselves to or wanting to reform ourselves into the fashion of, of, of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. But the elites have, using the, the little lever that Teddy Roosevelt threw in there about the living Constitution, have altered the, the provisos and the guarantees that the Constitution would protect our God-given rights. So there have been a lot of, of I guess you'd have to call them uh, deletions, so we've suffered a lot of the losses of our of our rights, the protection of our God-given rights. And, uh, you know, I think I'm going to throw this in here because, you know, you, we always hear about how bad the Native Americans were, were treated and, and the blacks, the uh, African Americans, all of that. And I'm not saying that isn't true, uh, but I, I am going to say this, first of all, uh, of course, that, you know, Islam... How it how it looks at uh, Africans, how they how they look down upon them. Uh, I find it amazing that uh, that and it's okay, but it just seems to be antithetical. You know the, that so many um, uh, African Americans African Americans and blacks around the world uh, link up with Islam because of how it, I mean, it's responsible for the slave trade. It's, it's really horrible if you look into the, the background of that, but I don't want to dwell on that too much. I actually want to get onto this other thing because we always talk about how people are being mistreated of these other races. Well, I got to tell you, the Irish here were, you know, <laughs> people from the UK, for instance, were um, indentured servants, which is just a nice way of saying slave. You know, so they had that problem. Uh, and, and then, uh, maybe some of you aren't aware of this, but uh, in the uh, late 1800s, uh, the Irish uh, settlers in uh, the West, in the Midwest, primarily in the Denver area, were slaughtered by the railroads using Pinkerton. <laughs> That's the Pinkerton Detective Agency. They killed men, women, and children because they were... They were saying, you know, they wanted their pay better, the, the circumstances that they were working under, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so, you know, the government has been used for really nefarious, evil purposes, and I agree with that. So how do we make amends? We fix it. You know, we, we, we don't get invaded by people who want to tear us down because of something our fathers did. You know, there's an old scriptural state, well, there's kind of a two-way street here. One says that, you know, if you, if you eat sour grapes, it doesn't set the, the children's teeth on edge. You know, that's the parents' fault, the ancestors' fault. But then there's another scripture that does say, you know, that the evils of the father shall be visited on the children's, children until the second and third generations, sometimes the third and fourth. So I understand that, but it's, it's, it's how we view that and how we cope with it. Right now, I believe that the United States, at least half of it, is trying to repent, trying to find its way, trying to move towards the light. And I believe Donald Trump is leading the way in that. Uh, well, in that he's, he's the figurehead of the movement, the spiritual and liberty movement that's, that's growing in the hearts of the people. So, no, uh, we should not be punished if we're trying to make amends. You know, that just goes against all principle at all. And first of all, if that's going to be the case, then I suggest that all the other countries like China get, get punished, uh, you know, uh, Mexico get punished. 
their 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 immigration policies you can go to prison for getting into mexico you know the the hypocrisy of all this is just mind-boggling to me okay and then lastly <laughs> Islam is a political movement. It's really not a religion. It's disguised as a religion, but it's really a political movement. Uh, I've talked about this before. Muhammad took what he thought people liked in Christianity and what he thought people liked in Judaism and kind of melded the two. As a matter of fact, the Quran in so many ways is similar to the Talmud, some of the ba bad parts of the Talmud. Uh, but at any rate, uh, you know, women under Sharia law, they they can't walk by themselves they they can't they can't uh, be with a man that's not a member of their family um, you know they they they're I don't, I don't know that it's always forced but it's it's very much encouraged that they have female genital mutilation so that they can't have orgasms uh, clitoral orgasms Wow yet so many women in the West find it trendy and that's been a big subject on a lot of the independent news here lately but you know I I find this hypocrisy and this this silliness and this total disregard for truth uh, to be a real problem in the United States uh, amongst 30 to 40 percent of the population women in particular and white males um, as Alex Jones has pointed out you know the the the, the beta white males are those who are trying to take advantage of the situation the women embracing this this organizer of the of the women's march, and I'm sorry, I don't exactly know how to say her name, but Linda Sansour, I think, is how it's said, and she says that uh, oh well, we're liberating women. Uh, 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 are people? I, mean, I I just can't I can't fathom pe people being that stupid. Women being that stupid. You've got American men that would put you up on a pedestal you know there there are some like you know Trump billionaires who can really give you a lot but you know not all of us are gonna go there right obviously I'm gonna tell you a joke here about that here in a few minutes I should but I will uh, most of us though can you know we might not be able to give you riches as far as material things but we can give you love affection companionship loyalty etc etc but the mainstream media is now telling you that's no good but <laughs> go to Islam where you're going to have your genitals cut off. It, 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 it's mind-boggling to me. Okay, I'm going to close with this. It's kind of it's something that happened to me. You know, I, I don't use the internet for dating. I, ju I just won't. Uh, some really bad things happen with that, and a lot of you probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, i got to tell you this story, <laughs> and I, I just can't help myself. Uh, I met a lady. I'm not going to give all the details, but I met this lady. Uh, this was two years ago. And... You know, uh, we, I thought we were hitting it off really well. You know, we great conversations, and we like some of the same things, et cetera, et cetera. And then she went back home. I won't even say where that was. Uh, but, you know, it, it, the, the communication got a little strained after a little while. And, and no, I'm not rich. I'll, I'll tell you that up front. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> a long way from it for a lot of reasons. Uh, some of you might know some of the history of that. And uh, anyway. But uh, she calls me up one day and she says, Hey, Roy, are you with me? Can, are you with me? And I said, Well, I want to be. What, what, what are you talking about? And she says, Well, you know, if you can take me to Venice, <laughs> put me on a gondola, give me expensive wine to drink, and sing romantic songs to me, that'd be great. Then, then we'll get together. <laughs> and my response to her is, What third-rate romance novel are you reading to get this stuff out of even the the mega rich don't do those types of things at least not normally so you know we have crazy expectations because of the mainstream media entertainment in particular has really messed up what our value system is I just thought I'd end with that little tale I could tell you tons more but eh, that's enough for now out here.